the reason for truth where the truth comes first and the reasons come last. But you know, we're always in constantly learning because when you stop learning, you stop teaching. At least, at least stop teaching well. Today, we want to teach about the meaning, the true meaning of Christmas in less than under four minutes. Three minutes, I think it's 28 seconds, something like that. So God's blessings to you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're, uh, and if you're with us on our on our community locals, make sure that you definitely sign up. We can do so for free or it's just a few dollars a month to get some more exclusive videos and content and part of the community. God's blessings to you. Hey, in advance, uh, Merry Christmas. Good morning. I want to talk to you today, everybody, about the true meaning of Christmas, looking at Galatians 4, 4 to 5, which says this, but when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law so that he we might receive adoption as sons. I find it's fascinating in terms of the true meaning of Christmas, not all the gifts and commercialism, but what God is saying to us here is in the, in the fullness of his time. What does that mean? Well, he's saying in the, in the perfect time in history, the, the time appointed by God the Father, verse 2, for his son to be born, and later, right, an Easter to die and to be raised again, for the sins of the world. The, the scripture here is used, born of woman. What does that mean? Well, why is that important? It speaks of Christ's humanity and perhaps alludes to his role as the ultimate seed of the woman, uh, chapter th uh, verses 3 to 6 and Genesis 3, uh, 15. But the words born under the law means Christ was subject to the Jewish law. Matthew 5, 17 to 19 kind of explains that. You know, the law further establishing his identification uh, with all the people who are subject to the law. It's all of us. So when God says to redeem, the, the word redeem here uh, means it's really a verb. And it means here in context that only Paul uh, uses this in New Test Testament is to buy from the slave market. That's us. We were bought from the slave market, being slaves of the world, to being slaves of Christ. And it, it, again, it's only a, it's a term only that Paul used here in the New Testament three thirteen, and as well Ephesians five sixteen and Colossians four five. Unique to Paul. Interesting. The verb to redeem again describes Christ's supreme and final payment for the sins of humanity. Romans three twenty three to twenty five. Now this payment, his death on the cross, frees those all of us who believe on him from the curse of the of the law and slavery to sin, and then this decisive payment uh, resulting results in freedom uh, for us spiritually, clears the way for Christians to become more than just cultural, but God's sons and really daughters, although there is only one natural son in God's family, Jesus Christ, verses 4 and 6, God graciously adopted all believers as his sons. That's us. Uh, we, meaning you and I, no longer are slaves to sin, nor children under the guardianship of the law. Isn't that great? And this is the true meaning of the Christmas season. So to, listen, when you're going through and you see the tree and you see all the gifts, remember the ultimate gift of Christ on the cross. Make sure the ultimate gift of your loved ones and your friends and always appreciate them. Take time to stop and uh, take time out of your schedule to say I love you and to spend some time with them. That's the true meaning. Money and all that stuff are just peripherals, and they come as a side item, not to make them the centerpiece. So make sure, listen, subscribe uh, to this channel if you're listening, and I certainly would appreciate, listen, standing with us end of year uh, financially. We do have some needs that are unmet, and uh, we can't do it without you. You can certainly do that because uh, we're more than just a channel. We're also an organization, Reason for Truth. Dot org and just hit the donate button or backslash uh, donate will take you right there so thank you uh, kindly for all your support god's blessings to you listen merry christmas to you and your family mm -hmm.